Wow. Okay, so it's been a few days. Hi, how are you guys? Are you guys all doing good? Is everybody like chilling? I hope everybody's wonderful. It's great, you know. I know it's been a few days. I've been gone. You're probably like, oh my god, where did she go? No, I'm here. I'm here. I just like, I've been out, girl. I've been working. I've been dining. And I want to talk about this. It's going to be like a two part segment, which I will release in like segments. I like to stay like one video, one theme. That's kind of like the way I like to separate my content. Anyway, so here's what I saw. Bradley Cooper is dating Gigi Hadid. I didn't understand this initially because like I thought all the men were on the same little wave of like, we don't date women with children. Okay, so now they date women with children. Um, this is a thing. And so it looks like Bradley Cooper is getting pretty serious about this relationship with Gigi Hadid. But it's so serious that he's like bought a house in the little town where like she lives and her mom lives and stuff and i think he wants to like settle down with her i don't know if bradley cooper has children already like i'm not willing to do this research and become invested like i i don't care um i just thought that was interesting and i just wanted to like throw that out in the world like there are only so many women and there are only so many beautiful women I also saw that like Leonardo DiCaprio was like hitting the town with this like supermodel. She's very pretty, but she's like a supermodel with diabetes with like type one diabetes. So she's like a new mom who's like an advocate for type one diabetes. And it just like these relationships are going completely against like all the things that like maybe this is just like incel losers on the internet what they've been saying, but I think it's useful to point to like real world examples of men successful men who the type of women that they're dating and like the history that comes with those women so both of these women have children with like another man and they still like these women and find these women beautiful and attractive and worthy mates so I think that that's useful simply because like in the black community, baby mamas are just degraded to the max. And in this case, there are two baby mamas who are like out and about dating really high quality men. Anyway, um, nothing has happened in terms of our like Tom Brady stalker, uh, not stalker, but our Tom Brady following escapade he hasn't really done anything interesting he's given a talk somewhere but this has returned no fruit I, I don't think the talk happened yet I think it might be tomorrow otherwise we've got nothing so I don't really know what to say Morgan Wallen's bar opened I tried to go today but it was shut down so it's open tomorrow but I work tomorrow so I don't know whenever the next day off I have is I'll go if it's Saturday though, I'm not gonna go because it's gonna be too busy. Like I don't like crowds. So today would have been the perfect day to go because it would have been like not as busy as like a regular day. I'm not going on Saturday. Um yeah, so we'll see. Um what oh, um I wanted to, this is gonna be a brief video about how do you unpack the drama and maybe sort of like mundaneness of the sameness of the working world like what do you do about the <laughs> never-ending sort of like how do you describe it like umphness of just being an adult in the world and j just having to deal with it so typically you're gonna pour this drama out on your partner because that's just what everyone does. But it gets to a point where like your partner is probably working or just like every person has shit that they're dealing with. So even if you're, uh, your significant other is like a stay at home person, man, woman, whatever, like they also just have shit that they're unpacking and dealing with. So like everybody has things to unpack. I think it's like important to give your significant other this space to unpack the shit. 
but also like it can't be the only thing that you're talking about like you can't be the unloader of all the shit every day because that gets old so quick and that is so fucking exhausting it is so exhausting like nobody wants to hear you complain like for just hours and hours on end he said this she said this she did this he did that oh my god this got on my nerve i hated this it's just like oh, for two hours you're gonna like legitimately like get someone to hate you and you don't want that like that's unnecessary so instead of doing any of that what you should do instead is get a fucking therapist or a journal get a journal talk to your journal about that fucking talk to your cat about it your animal or something but let your significant other, maybe they could hear like a small amount of what's going on at your job. Oh, I'm trying to get this promotion. I didn't get it. Okay. I am working toward this thing. I'm trying to do it. Okay. I don't think like the super small ins and outs of like all the shit that you have going on at the job. Like this is why it can be really useful actually to have a YouTube channel. Because like the YouTube channels where you could call Patreon, you could just come and like talk about all the in and out shit of all your day to day things. Oh, well he said this and then she did that. Oh, it got on my nerves when this person did that. Like all that like mundane shit that nobody else cares about and honestly people hate to hear. The internet sometimes like loves to hear it because they just have nothing better to do. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs>